me and my boy Rick going to breakfast. This morning was breakfast. Uh, just catching up. Didn't vlog that. Then I went to go find a sink, which also the door got fixed. This was broken. Had a locksmith come fix that. I've been looking for a sink all morning. Ended up at some bougie ass fucking, I don't know what, oh. Uh-oh. Attention Teddy Safarian. This is from Adidas. That's hilarious. Uh, looking for a sink. A straight up bougie. Big cease and desist if it's a cease and desist. A bougie, I keep saying bougie. A bougie ass motherfucking appliance store. And these sinks are like a thousand dollars. So I came back here to take a dab and chill out. Go back out and figure it out real quick. Really just needed a dab, but this is from Adidas. I didn't order it. I'm not using the scissors, dog. Fuck those scissors, bro. This is not way enough to be a pair of shoes. Maybe it does. I don't know. What? It's a Pharrell. That means it's from the Pharrell fam. What is this shoe gonna be? Oh shit, man. There's a black one? I didn't even know there was a black one. Boost God. Fuck with it. The solar hue powered by inner light. The oh, gray scan. Oh, nice. There's a black one, a white. So it's just like a yeah, standard colored edition. Solar hue. But a triple black. I love this shoe. I gotta be straight up with you honest. Like this model, the black on black is sick because it's black on black with, I'm assuming, a three in hit somewhere. Might just be silver. Damn, dude, shout out to Pharrell and team squad. Hell yeah. Nice, bro. Thank you. Those are sick. That's one of the most comfortable shoes that came out this year. People don't talk about it, but uh, they are. Like, almost better than Ultra Boost, I think. I mean, yeah, it's the mix between the, it's Ultra Boost, Free Hiker. Free Hiker is the most, it's like kind of in the middle of Ultra Boost and Free Hiker. Really comfortable shoe. Thanks, Pharrell and Adidas. People in the Pharrell camp, look out for your boy. I gotta regroup, then we're going back out. Back at the place that had the fucking thousand dollar sink, but I did some research. Now we're gonna go in here and get a actual uh, just sink that we can like properly use. It's not bougie as fuck. Alright, we copped our sink, faucet, and stand. We almost fucking crashed into a fucking podium. I've been sick for the vlog. Uh, the car actually would have stopped me, but and stand, hopefully. It was actually like 250, 260. So way better than the $1,200, whatever the fuck I was about to buy. What you doing, Buzz? Trying to get at your foot? I'm putting this, um... I know. Right in here. He's just down there chewing it on your clean clothes. Leave it alone, Bubba. It is now four o'clock. I have spent all day ordering stuff. A new copier, inks for the copier, just kind of cool because some of the old tattoo stuff is really expensive and hard to find. And now there's like new tech, bro. Not in a shop every day for a couple of years and it made some new leaps. So, which are a little bit cheaper actually. So I pretty much have everything that I need that I can do today other than a toolbox type situation. So I'm gonna go to Lowe's. I was gonna go to Home Depot, but I'm like, fuck Home Depot. I'm going to Lowe's. We're going blue. Fuck the orange, you know what I'm saying? I'm going blue. I don't know why. Just Home Depot pissed me off right there. How's your little foot, man? How's your little cast? All right. You doing okay with it? Gonna be all right if I go for a minute. Huh? We came back to the building. This morning has been not the chillest. So Omar is having like tremors. They're not seizures. A lot of people online, when I was tweeting about it, were like thinking it's seizures. It's not. Um, Doobie used to have the same thing, like little head tremors. It's pretty normal in bully breeds. 
like it happens. Don't know that there's a real reason for it. Some people I uh, suggested CBDs will help. They most likely will. Some have said just feeding him sugar like honey, CBD honey will help because it spikes his blood sugar. But yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of things that help. This is just the first time that it's happened with Omar. So we're back at the spot though because I'm supposed to meet the landlord here because so there's a building next door that's for rent that I actually like too. I came up here yesterday and tried to hit him off with a deal. Look, give me both spots for this, blah, 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 blah. He wasn't really jacking it. So then last night he hit me up because there's an apartment below the shop that he just completely redid and renovated and was like, hey, it would be a lot easier if you just took the bottom to have the apartment downstairs and the shop and then I can kind of just do whatever I want. He said I could do whatever I want with the apartment. So I'm jumping on that because I know I can make good use of that. People travel in, I can make an all-inclusive deal where they get tattooed and have a place to stay. So that just cuts a lot of stress out of your trip. And yeah, and then just like Airbnb it if I want, use it as a podcasting area, whatever. Like I'll have plenty of options. So waiting for him here. I don't know where he is. He's not here. So I'm gonna go back to the house and take a dab and then come back. Because I also stopped by Cut Above. I thought they had flour. Laser Cat was releasing. Laser Cat was releasing flour. But I read the email so fast this morning in the chaos that I thought it was today and it's on Friday. So I'm just all over the place today. so weird it's like when he's like engaged in his lower it stops you know what i mean <laughs> tell me why <laughs> i'm gonna try to take a shower and be ready to answer this week. Landlord is back, so we're gonna go meet him. Whoa. Oh, yeah, you said, you said that shoot. earlier. If anyone climbs that wall over there, I got to shoot him or I, I punch, just, punch him. I just can't catch him. Yeah. your feet, you know, on the wall. Yeah. Done. I'll set up a camera back there, so when I find him, I'll get you the footage. <laughs> so, okay, so. Done giving you money this month. <laughs> <laughs> doing over there hanging in there the old bobblehead yeah I'm talking to you um, yeah so most likely I think I tried to talk about this earlier and didn't but most likely what Omar is experiencing is idiopathic head tremors so uh, there's nothing that you can really do about it there's no explanation for it one of the things that works is distracting them uh, some people say like feeding them distracting them playing with them they, they really just don't know so some say CBDs help. I don't think that they're gonna hurt. If nothing else, it'll relax them for the day until we can get to the vet, so. It's not been the most fun, but it's also not, like, you know, we woke up like this. I woke up with him shaking and I freaked the fuck out because oddly enough, I had this weird ass dream about Doobie the night before and it just like put me, you know, well, there's a lot going on too. So I'm a little stressed here and there and that just like sent me over the edge this morning, but it's best not to like panic because they're generally getting worse because you're panicking and they can feel your energy. They're like, yo, what the fuck is going on? My head's already shaking. Well, why the fuck is my dad freaking out? He's gonna be okay. I, he needs to go to the vet for his foot anyway. Have him check it out. But I'm pretty sure they're just gonna tell me to do blood work, ask me about his diet. I don't think there's a real cure for this one. And he's not in pain, it just sucks. We as humans, we put our own spin on it. We put our own uh, emotions on it. The dog is usually fine. It's us who is not fine. Last night was horrible at Lowe's. We were there for so long. It was ridiculous. Uh, I got some shit to do with the city. That's pretty much it. Pretty excited. Because there's a lot to do. And then the whole Omar thing is not really fun. But it'll pass. And then, uh, what else happened today? Let's see. Um... Oh, cease and desist stickers are going up today. For the public, as well as tour shirts. 
and the eternal attack drop what's left it's a really small drop the stickers there's plenty but other stuff there's a small ass drop that's going on at osteddy.com tonight um and then for friends and family y'all are getting the sticker pack as well but it's cheaper for you and then new look book is coming soon as well so a lot of shit going on uh there will be exclusives that release here in denver now in the store but you will have to come get them in the store or if you're friends and family you can order them friends and family signups will open up after this surprise drop for what's left of the cease and desist which ain't much so yeah there will be clues in the vlog next week um what else what else what else stock x today my motherfucking yeezys my reflective glows i fucking come up was uh they came in and they were not authentic so someone tried to pull the wool uh some used pair a fake pair i don't know what they did but stock x took care of it and they already are finding another and other stock x news josh looper my homie is no longer the CEO, some other handsome silver fox looking dude is, who is a businessman, I don't know who he is, but he, his accolades seem to be pretty impressive uh, in his field. They're like, oh my God, Josh stepped down. I think it's a title change. The business is obviously growing super fast and they're uh, they're expanding, so they're, there's some, some changes, but we'll see how they play out. I, I obviously love the stock X. Don't really care about much coming out. These, I don't know when they're coming out. These are sick, black on black. It's a tonal pack, you know, I think I showed yesterday the thing. Total pack, solar hue. It doesn't say when they're coming out though, but I don't think they're, I would doubt that they'd be hard to get, but the black ones are sick. I don't know if we ever reviewed a pair of these and I'm not gonna do it now, but I will tell you, love this shoe. It does have this plate here, which, you know, yesterday was on Twitter. My man Thea was trying to say, you're not standing on boost when you absolutely are. This little footbed thing you have to put on the bottom of every upper, uh, I assume he was talking about this little joint, which can't be the same as an Ultra Boost, or else it would be an Ultra Boost. I find this shoe to be more comfortable. I like PK more because it's the way that it feels on my foot. But if I have to walk for a long period of time all day, this is actually more comfortable. Satin sheets, you know, and Ultra Boost got satin sheets, and this is just more practical. Like, this is just more of a rugged shoe. And this is mesh, but it's a breathable mesh. It doesn't have this, like, weird sweat panel like the NDs had back in the day. So this is a dope shoe. It's a little tighter, more constrictive. I wear hella thin socks with this. I usually go with, like, a no show sock from anybody. Like, even the finish line no show socks are fire. Finish line, send me a box of no show socks. Adidas makes some nice. I'm sure Stance makes some nice, but it's a dope colorway. I'm glad they sent it to me. Thank you, Pharrell. I appreciate you looking out for me always. Much appreciated. But this black on black colorway obviously not going to blow your socks off but um yeah it's a it's nice um is there any other news i don't know what's going on with dirty urn he sent me no footage zero zilch haven't heard from him think he's realizing that tour is a lot harder than he thinks with vlogging and he's going to come back to a shop an apartment airbnb situation who knows uh what else Let's go check on Omar one more time. It's been about 20 minutes since his first CBD is so lounging. You lounging? Don't get up. Just chill, dude. Huh? You lounging now? You're not listening? Back to normal? Huh? That's the day. Oh, look at that stock though. God, it's little, little in love. Get it if you can. Get it if you can. See you tomorrow or the next day. I don't know.